In this video, we will demonstrate how to run a time domain simulation with EMTP. If you are running a new design, you must save it at this point. The reason is because EMTP will store the simulation results in a folder at the same place as the design. This folder has the same name as the design followed by underscore PJ, which stands for project. Please note that it is not required to save the design anytime you run a new simulation. Before running, the simulation's options must be adjusted. To run a time domain simulation, the box Find Steady State Solution and Start from Steady State must always be checked except for some very specific cases. Set up the simulation time long enough so you can observe the phenomenon simulated. The time step size depends on the observed phenomenon. A general rule is to set it at least 10 times smaller than the period of the highest natural frequency, or the smallest propagation delays of the transmission lines and underground cables. More information can be found here. You can now run the simulation. The simulation progress is displayed in the console. When the simulation is completed successfully, end is written in the progress bar. If an error occurred during the simulation, error will be written and the explanations will be provided below in the same console. The simulation results can now be observed using one of the visualization tools, mplot or scope view. If we have a look in the folder where the design is saved, the project folder has been created. In this folder, the simulation plot file can be found. It has the same name as the design followed by m.m. This file is in ASCII format. It contains all the available scope labels and is referring to the attached binary file named as the design with the extension .mda, which holds all the waveform data points. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information or want to get informed when new content is released, please subscribe to our LinkedIn community and to our newsletter.